Hey guys, so I purchased a small travel trailer and when I was thinking about buying it I couldn't find too many videos about it so I wanted to leave one. Um, so this is a KZ Sportsman Classic uh, 130RB. As you can see it has the front window, large front window, a single propane tank. Now I do have plans in the future to convert it into one of them dual tanks. It, hopefully it's not going to be too hard. The, as you can see, the battery box is directly behind it. It just uses a regular deep cycle battery. Maybe one day I can have it converted to something else. And there's my kitty. How you doing, kitty? Okay, on this side we have, you can see the hot water heater right there. You can see where your inlet is for your fresh water tank. And also right below it is where you, your city water connection is. And then right over here we have the vents. Those vents are for the fridge that you'll see in just a moment. Now right here we have the electrical connector where you plug in the 30 amp plug and the plug does the plug just unscrews and then you can uh, put it in your storage. It's really handy. Um, and right here you can see we have four stabilizer jacks and each stabilizer jacks on each corner which is comes in real handy because I know in some of the campers I've seen sometimes there's only two but having four like this is really gonna help and then we're gonna walk over here to the back side and I put me a little tire cover on there I don't like my tires dry rotting and here we go, we got a little uh, Furion connector. It, there's no camera in it, it's for a backup camera. Anyway, the camera's about $500, I don't plan on spending that anytime soon. I mean, this trailer does have the off-road package. And the that makes the rims a little bit taller, a little bit bigger than what's standard. Then there you can see the gray water and the black water tanks. They're both about 15 gallons. And the fresh water tank's about a 21 gallon. And it came with some really nice rims. And we can walk over here. You can see the rims there. And I have this, I built a little step because it, it, water likes to sit there and there's the awning and that awning is a electric awning which <laughs> anyone's used a manual awning that's that's amazing it's awesome and then two speakers up top outdoor speakers and a little plug-in if you ever want to connect your little grill then over here we have a storage compartment and to the left there we have a little uh, heat events and the storage compartment, it's not that big, and you'll see in the inside why, but I mean, I got plenty of stuff in there. It, it decent amount of storage. Being a small camper, a couple could really utilize that. But if you have a bunch of kids or family over, it might get a little cramped. Not a lot of storage and not a lot of space on the inside. Now here's some pictures of the awning when it's out and open. And here's some pictures of the... Uh, the LED light strip that's on top. Now it is really bright. Uh, it actually shocked me. And here is a solar plug. Now you can buy one of the Furon's solar panels but they are really expensive. Or you can buy your own solar panel and solar charger which I already have one and just buy the plug. Now you can find the plug on Amazon or eBay. I think it's about $17 and that's what I plan on doing. Now that way I can convert my little panel and not have to direct connect directly to the battery, which I may do anyway, I don't know yet. It has a nice grip handle. And inside, it has a layout of a dinette that converts into a bed. And I'll show you some pictures of that a little bit later on. But we also have a lot of light. These windows put out a lot of light. Which is nice when you're camping. I mean, you're not going to be inside your camper that often. At least I would hope not when you're camping. But you got a little Furon uh, 
radio and you can see the speakers there in the roof it's about two of them and then lots of cabinet space the vents there are two vents one vent was right there and the other vent is in the bathroom and a little stove top it's only a two boner propane of course and then there's the switches now these switches this had the off-road package so it comes with the tank heater and that tank heater will keep the tanks from freezing in the winter and over there we have the gray black fresh water and battery now I believe yeah all these are gonna be low yeah everything's empty right now batteries fully charged that's good now there's also a little outlet right there that's your hot water heater and that's your water pump the hot water heater is electric start and these lights you just press them on the bottom and they cut all cut on and cut off now they all little LEDs so that's that's always nice to have especially when you're running off the troll volt system now it comes with a little USB charger and sorry it's hard to get to right here let's just see if come on focus but right here is the TV antenna now the TV antenna is stationary it doesn't crank up like some others come on focus there we go and you plug that straight into your TV and you have you know cable TV or no, antenna TV whatever the kids call it nowadays and right here is a picture of the table when it is folded into a bed now I'm six foot and I can lay all the way across it without any issues it's actually pretty comfortable to me now some other people might want to have that changed out into a uh, have the cushions changed into a, maybe a softer bedding or pad but overall two people could sleep comfortably on that and the other two could sleep on uh, another person may be able to sleep on the other bench and these blinds that came with it now they're cheap blinds I don't expect them to last too long but like everything in a camper it's cheap even expensive campers they are cheap okay and lots of storage like I said that was one reason I liked this camper so much I've always tent camped my entire life and this is my first actual camper or tra travel trailer and I was very surprised I'm still having trouble finding a little first aid kit I'm still having trouble finding stuff to put in here because usually I just have a backpack now right here is where in a normal camper the AC would be sitting now I'm lucky and my camper came with a 1300 BTU roof vent but on the downside if I ever have to replace it it's gonna be a lot harder so it's a playoff in a 1300 BTU in such a small camper it's gonna be an it's an icebox that's that's what it is it's just a straight-up icebox that is a lot of AC for this small unit but lots of storage up here and a neat thing about this is right here behind this panel here you can get to all that equipment so if you ever wanted to add or mod something I believe it would be very easy and I may do something with that pretty soon maybe put in some uh, auxiliary plugs or something of that nature now the sinks just a standard sink there's nothing really special about it more storage big storage is my TV and right here small enough storage that maybe some clothes could some shoes could fit in but other than that it's nothing remarkable now in here is the bathroom. Now the bathroom's small, but like I said, I'm six foot and I'm kind of a wide guy, very broad-shouldered, and uh, it's okay for me. That's that's not the the shower head that came with it or the shower rod. That's one of the oxygenics I put in. And there's the other vent I was talking about. Now none of these vents have fans in them, which it would be a nice if it did, but maybe one day I'll put a put a fan in it 
and here we have the controls for the awning and if my camera would focus and you also have the light switches and look a little outlet and that's the switch to the speakers you can do inside and outdoor or you can do both for your radio and these lights that switch is the outside LED lights I showed you in that earlier picture and the other switch is the uh, inside lights but have you noticed that these other lights did not cut off well, they're not on the same circuit, so they have to be individually cut off, which isn't a big deal. You know, I actually like that feature. Some people may not, though. But plenty of light lighting in this small little camper, and lots of outlets. I've seen four-size campers. I've had my parents, they have a four-size camper, and I have more outlets, that, more wall outlets than they do. Not much storage up under the sink, unfortunately, with the uh, electrical box. That electrical box, you know, is for your breakers. Now, it does come with a small fridge. And the top over here, it, it's a, a little uh, freeze box, freezer. You know, keep some small items frozen. Now, this is one of the LP slash electric fridges. I like to keep that open just so it don't get that get start smelling after a while of sitting up after a couple of weeks of sitting up but you know it's real simple to use and so far it has kept everything cold okay and again just it's so much light Underneath here, you see, I don't know if you can see it, but in that back corner over there, right behind that back leg, is another outlet, power outlet. And right there is the carbon monoxide slash propane detector. Now, I did have some issues when I purchased this camper because it was not, the hot water heater, as you've seen on the outside, sits directly behind this detector and of course it was a little windy and it the wind kept blowing the fumes inside now that's also an issue with the vents on the fridge because the vents are right next to the hot water heater but either way I took it back to the dealer the dealer siliconed it up some more and sealed off the hot water heater a little bit more from the outside and so far I've probably been on two or three camping trips since then and I've only owned this camper for about a month now and anyways everything's been working great so far now I want to show you all some of the storage that this thing has some more up underneath the benches now right here this is our first bench and as you can see that's where the heater is the furnace and the furnace does use a large amount of propane so if you're ever going to be somewhere for a long time I'll get you one of them little space heaters but make sure your your camper can use how many watts a space heater is now that's the little thermostat the thermostat just controls the furnace and the AC has its own set of the controls Now right here is where the outside hatch is. As you can see, a bunch of my crap that I have laying up in there. And just little pieces of plywood that keeps that covered. Then you then over here is where all the good stuff is. Now as you can tell, it is a camper, so again everything's gonna be super cheap. I'm sorry about my nasty feet. Uh now the water tank right there, up, so like I said, it was a 21 gallon tank. And I've been able to take a shower, maybe a shower and a half with it, without you know running out of water. Now if you cut the 
the water off though you could take several showers with it you know between you bathing that's just me running the water full speed and that's the hot water here you can see how close it is the uh, the water pump then an issue that I did find with this camper is since these cushions sit on the back wall they have no way to uh, not slide so my plan is to get some velcro to position it to keep them from sliding back and forth and moving around when you're traveling and you know things like that other than that I've been real, real pleased with this I hope you guys liked the video don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and hopefully I'll have some more videos out of my camping adventures see ya